So we've made it all the way from Corumba to the tip of Cape York on the west coast of Cape York. And now we've got to head down the east coast. And the thing with the east coast of Cape York is it's weather permitting. Like it can be an extremely dangerous place to navigate with the southeasterly winds. And we're on that borderline where the southeasterly trade winds are starting to kick in. We've got a weather window and it's a very small weather window. So we're gonna have to be very selective in the places that we go and visit because I really gotta bank some miles. Otherwise, if we get caught in that sou'easter, we could be stuck here for weeks. So yeah, we've come around the corner and now it's not onwards and upwards, it's onwards and downwards. So it's gonna be pretty cool. We've got a lot of people to meet. We've got places to see and fish to catch. So let's get cracking down the east coast now of Cape York. Bloody beautiful, look at that. The monster from the deep. Cheers, mate. Buddy. place called Turtle Head Island. Now it's just a short stone's throw from the tip of Cape York. In there is the Escape River. And on this island here is a guy by the name of Rusty. Him and his wife Bronwyn, they run a pearling farm here and I can't believe they're still here. Last time I spoke to Rusty he was pulling the pin, but it looks like he's still here. How are you buddy? We're just passing by. <laughs> Come right in. How's the pearls going? Well, we'll find out shortly because <laughs> um, on account of COVID, yeah, we decided is... there's no tourists around. What did so, you do? Well, we didn't harvest last year. Oh, look at the size of them. Noise. Holy crap. It takes two years for a pearl. Yeah. But we decided to wait another 12 months because of COVID. Three years. So yeah. um, we're going to harvest these probably late June, July. Yeah. So basically, if we're leaving them another 12 months, you're going to have a bigger pearl. Well, over two years, on average, you get two to three millimetre covering of nacre on your pearls. So we're hopeful that by going the extra 12 months, yeah. we might get three to four mil. Yeah. That's, that's, who knows? It's not financially viable to do it, but if there's no tourists coming, what's the yeah, point of taking well. them out of the water? Yeah, that's right. So we've just decided to have a go at it. Yeah, Very okay. good, so they look good. So that's those, and, and then there's the Peturia penguin. Yes, they're a smaller pearl, aren't they? Yeah. Show me them again. They're the ones that we do they on the like sides. They look like a weird looking shape. They're not like those big fat ones. See the barnies growing there? Yeah. There's freeloaders in the water system here everywhere. That's why, that's why we've got to clean the shell. Oh, because they get all yeah, great. Now there, there they are. They're our Peturia penguin. You can see that they call them batwing shell. These are probably ready for harvest in 18 months. We leave these for two years. Yep. And later on I'll show you some, we've got some beautiful, beautiful ones of these. Um, and they're, they're becoming our biggest selling item. We're, as a farm, we've become a Marbe pearl farm. It's a unique bit of gear, your jetty. It's an ongoing project. It's never finished. These two are the Pateria penguin shell, you yeah. know, the, the ones with a spike on yeah. them. And then these ones are actually, they've come off the actual traditional pearl shell, the big pink, pink tartar maximus. The industry is awash with millions of these things with gold and silver and platinum around them and set shapes. Yeah. So I've just decided to make my own shapes. Is that like resin, is it? And, and you play around with resin. You reckon, you reckon I could buy one for my wife? Yeah. So, so for everyone who doesn't know what that is, that's actually the mother of pearl shell, where the, the pearls attached to the shell. Yeah, that's right? Marbe they shell, Marbe pearls. pearls. The, the Chinese were doing it 700 years ago um, using lead. Lead? Uh, yes, they were putting lead it's into the, the pearl lead. shell and the mother of pearl was growing over. So what are you using to make create the star? There's actually a plastic bead of that shape. Yeah, you got and then, But then you get ones like this, and that's where we've just used a low-grade pearl 
I put it on the grinder, get a flat spot, yeah. and stick it on the inside of the shell. And, and that's what's called and a three quarter. The that's a three quarter pearl. And yeah, yeah. you can see the back there, the, the solid pearl shell. You've done well, mate.